If asked which city has achieved the highest GDP per capita among China's large and medium-sized cities over the past three years, even many Chinese may not know that the answer is Wuxi in East China's Jiangsu Province. I'm now in Wuxi City of Jiangsu Province. It will only take about 40 minutes to go to Shanghai if I take a high-speed train. Being so close to Shanghai, one of the global financial centers, why is Wuxi also a top performer for attracting foreign investments? The answer lies in the deep integration of finance and real economy. Wuxi is currently host to factories of many multinational corporations, spanning sectors from semiconductors, medical industries, and beyond. The city boasts a developmental history of over a century in the manufacturing industry and remains actively engaged in attracting additional potential foreign partners. This year, we have held over 300 events to attract global investment from countries and regions, including Singapore, South Korea, Japan, England, Saudi Arabia, and the UAE, to establish the best possible business environment. We set up a business specialist mode to support companies on a 24/7 basis. Besides supporting international corporations to set up branches in Wuxi, local companies are also introducing foreign capitals for further development. Longshine, a company specializing in digitalization solutions for energy systems, shared their experience. Foreign investment has been instrumental at various stages of Longshine development. For instance, investment from IDG not only facilitated the expansion of our scale, but also provided an opportunity to broaden our horizons in the global arena. This year, Wuxi has made a breakthrough, securing 150 million U.S. dollars from Mubadala Investment Company of Abu Dhabi Investment Authority. Wuxi is responsible for increasing business communication and cooperation with the Middle East region. Investment from the Middle East has been quite outstanding this year, and the municipal government of Wuxi has visited the Middle East region many times this year. Such communication also helps some Chinese companies like Xuelang to embrace overseas opportunities in countries in the Middle East, like Saudi Arabia. We attended an industrial cooperation meeting about financial support in October in Wuxi and introduced ourselves to participants from the Middle East. We discussed the project to provide transportation solutions in the future development in Saudi Arabia by building a gigantic digital transportation scenario, which includes management of roads, vehicles, passengers, and users. With such dynamic two-way interaction, Wuxi's manufacturers are expected to reap the rewards of international investment and cooperation. Hou Jing, CGTN in Wuxi, Jiangsu Province.